committed to. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. Watch this now. Because now, me and my wife were saying the other day when we were laying in the bed, we said, man, this is marriage for real. The both of us are down and out, and yet we're still committed to the marriage and not because we're not feeling each other at that time. Our commitment was greater than the sickness that caused us to still work through it in spite of what we were dealing with. My commitment causes me to do things that I wouldn't normally want to do in and of myself, but because I made a commitment, it makes me do what I said I'm going to do because I'm committed to doing it. Uh, yeah, we, we had to take we had to take shifts. That's it. <laughs> she would bring me some tea, then I had to bring her some tea. All right, all right. And, I, and I'm saying, man, I'm gonna stay in this bed. Yeah. And, 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 but when it's my turn, it's okay. <laughs> but when it's her turn, then I got a problem. But I said, this is a joint effort, so we gotta do this thing together. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah. and, 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 and watch this and because when we do it together we got to take I out of the way because we got to do this together so it's not about me it's not about you but it's about us and when we work together we work better as a team than we do by ourselves so I'm committed somebody say committed yeah. That was just, just I don't know why, who that was for. Yeah. <laughs> Praise yeah. the Lord. Yeah. And, and so we got to work together. Somebody said work together. Yeah. We got to work together as, as, as a unit. Watch this. We, we work together. Me and my wife, we work together as a unit. Then we have our family. We have our children. So we're working together as a unit because it's all about the unity of the family. Right. Come on. Mm -hmm. Because watch this. It's a terrible thing to be in a household when there's division in the house. And the house is being torn up and divided because we can't come together as a family. That's right. That's right. That's right. I watched households this year literally disperse, amen, and disintegrate simply because somebody couldn't come together and work out what they needed to work out. That's right. And sometimes it's just as simple as having a conversation. That's it. That's it. I, 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 um, I was, I was, um, I had this little thought for family Bible study. I put it in the atmosphere for our, our Bible. Kingdom Families Bible Study, and it was this. I wanted to write a list, and I wanted um, uh, the children to write down uh, what they love most about their parents. And, and then I wanted them to write what they least like about their parents. And then I wanted the parents to write what they love about their children. And then I wanted them to write what they least like about their children. Oh my God. Good idea. Good idea. Good idea. Uh, y'all hear what I'm saying? Because watch this. If, if, if you really want to know, you got to ask the question. And sometimes we don't ask the question because we really don't want to know. drama and trauma and some of the stuff that we went through in 14 we're not going through in 15. Uh, yeah, yeah, because I, I made up in my mind that starting this last weekend of 2014 I'm going to get some stuff straight now so that I don't have to deal with it when it comes January 1, 2015. So I got a couple of days to get some stuff straight and to work some stuff out because I'm not going to be carrying a whole bunch of baggage in 15. That's right. 2015 is going to have a different outview and a different look for my life. Amen. 
said because I going to make that's right yeah, yeah. Yeah. I like that come on big job yes. oh, I, 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 all right watch this this is not the year for me to blame everybody else for stuff I need to be doing myself 